What's going on guys? So this is gonna be like the uh, part two to the Polymer 80 build. So I got the PF9 SS kit. If you're familiar with my last video, um, this is more of like just where we're at now. Just kind of trying to document the process essentially. So I let the gunsmith from Springs Road Gun Club take it home, kind of check it over, see if he could figure out what was going on. So some people commented, if you get the ETS mags, it resolves the issue, works perfectly fine, yada, yada, yada. So I ordered an ETS mag. Uh, I ordered all new internals for the frame. Those haven't arrived yet. And then um, Polymer 80 was responding to me as well. So Polymer 80 said the same thing that he did, that he thinks that the front locking block, so where it attaches the slide to the frame, that front little um, post that goes in there that holds the trigger and all that stuff, all those pins, Polymer 80 said that they think that potentially that could be it. And he felt like he could agree with that. So they're gonna be shipping one out. So I'm waiting on tracking for that. And hopefully that will resolve the issue. So it looks like where the barrel kind of lines up that the magazine kind of basically is like on top of the feed ramp. And it looked like it was actually dinging my feed ramp pretty good. So. Hopefully, maybe the tolerance was just a hair off and it needed to be up a little bit higher, so maybe that'll resolve the issue. Now, that's not set in stone. They just kind of said, this might be it, so we're, this is what we're gonna send you. That's why I went ahead and I ordered a new trigger housing with the ejector, ordered new, uh, the little rod that holds the magazine release in. Um, I ordered the slide lock. I ordered everything that could go into the frame I ordered new one except for the mag release because we tried a factory and the ghost one and it happened with both so I don't feel like that could be it. I ordered everything else so hopefully we will get an answer of what exactly was causing this issue. We did get the new ETS magazine. It did not work. I ordered the seven round one. Even the packaging it came in said seven round but I could only fit six rounds. I tried real ammo, I tried snap caps, I tried a different type of snap cap. It's only fitting six rounds, don't know why. So I guess I'm just very unlucky. I seem to get a lot of uh, things that aren't operating quite as they should. The Apex trigger, which they sent a new one out. That's awesome. Really good customer support on that one. Polymer 80 seems to have pretty good customer support right now. Still kind of testing the waters with that one, but they seem to actually stand by their product pretty good. And I mean, who knows? It might have been something I did wrong that's causing this issue, but they seem to be, you know, replying when they can. They've got just a mass amount of orders and stuff right now, so they're doing it, you know, when they can, because I'm sure I'm not the only person that's calling them. When you mass produce something like that, you're gonna have things with failures. It's just part of uh, part of the game. So hopefully we get it resolved and I get an answer for y'all. Hopefully this video was informational to you and maybe gives you something to check out if you were having issues. Altogether, it does feel great. So I do want to tell you, if mine was just kind of a fluke coincidence, it is a pretty awesome frame. So if you've got a 43 and you're looking to have like a front rail and better grip and stuff like that, this is definitely an awesome feeling and shooting frame. Just got to get that magazine to stay in. All right, other than for that, Springs Road Gun Club, August 15th. I think I said 11th on my last video and that was wrong. I believe it's the 15th they are doing their members uh member appreciation and that event's going to have raffles they're giving away an ar9 an ak glock 44 some other stuff so some really cool things so definitely if you're a local get in there check that out get entered it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be fun but other than for that i am done i'll quit taking up your time i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you're new to the channel hit that like button subscribe to the channel Normally I spend a lot more time at the range. My wife's been working a lot more, which means I am not able to go to the range because my daughter's only two and she really can't come with me. So that's just kind of one of those things. But I definitely have a ton of things I want to film. I really want to check out the G3C, a uh, bunch of other stuff, get a rifle build going of some sort. But yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'll catch y'all later.